checking your forecast now as we inch closer to the weekend. Yeah, meteorologist Peter Hall has already had a busy week, but the fun keeps coming, Peter. We have a couple of events you're keeping an eye on. That's right, and the hits just keep on coming. You remember that from radio stations. But anyway, yes, there's actually quite a few weather systems, including what's coming on right now, which is probably the one that I'm least concerned about. We've got rain and wet, gloppy snow falling right here on the weather deck with more snow over higher elevations. Most spots, when you talk about this through tonight, tomorrow morning, either have a melting nothing to a coating to an inch or two. But then the active weather begins after sunset tomorrow. So let's get to it. Here's what's new and what's next. Wicked wind again threatens our entire area with similar setup to what we had Tuesday night, although slightly different. I still think highest elevations, areas north of the Finger Lakes and Oneida Lake and the far northern Tug Hill and areas just northwest of the Tug Hill, like Jefferson County, will likely have the best chance of getting the highest winds again, as you'll see. After that, winds temporarily get lower early Saturday morning, but then ramp back up during the day Saturday and starting Saturday night, into Sunday, we've got lake effect snow off of Lake Erie and Lake Ontario, as I'll show you as well. And some of that is going to be impacting not only northern and central New York, but also western New York and potentially near Orchard Park for the Bills game. Once that goes through, something we haven't seen consistently around here, real winter weather, meaning we are likely not to get to the freezing mark for highs. We're likely to be only in the 20s every single day and potentially into the weekend. Now this umbrella takes up way too much of the screen, so I'm gonna move it over here so you can see everything on the future cast here. Notice hardly any wind through most of the day Friday, but watch how fast things ramp up after sunset. There's 5 p.m., 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, we'll stop the clock. Does this look a little familiar where you're seeing the highest wind gusts once again, hill south of Syracuse, north end of the Finger Lakes, and watch Lacona here, northern Tug Hill and areas down sloping. You'll see some of those highest wind gusts in through here and then eventually pulling out and temporarily tapering off Saturday morning before a general blustery wind redevelops on Saturday. Again, these are just numbers, but what are the impacts? I would say most areas are just slightly lower wind speeds. Still an opportunity for this kind of thing for lower elevations and only some localized power lines and power outages. But once again, in the same spots that got it last time, we have a, another risk for power outages and tree damage. I'm crossing my fingers and hoping it's not quite as bad, but considering what we just went through, the muddy soils and the weakened trees, we certainly have to be aware of that potential Friday night once again. Here's your rain and wet snow right now. After that, we've got a quiet day Friday, clouds, breaks of sun before the next weather maker comes our way, which we've mentioned wind. There's also going to be some wet snow and rain Friday night, Saturday clouds and sun. But take a look at the lake effect developing at the end of Saturday east and northeast of Lake Ontario and Lake Erie. You see that right there? And some of that is crossing into central New York as well. And we'll stop the clock at 1 p.m. Sunday. Uh, yeah, Bill's game. Here's what we do know for that as we take a look at the Stanley Law Skywatch. The Bill's game, wind chills in the single digits, windy. There's going to be a band of heavy lake effect snow nearby. Could be quite interesting back inside. All right, Pete, thank you. Coming up.